What's up, guys? Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Uh, it's really cold. It's really, really cold today. I'm wearing a jacket inside because it's that cold, and uh, my hands are freezing. So you should feel honored that I am here hanging out with you to talk about the Rost Audio World Colors. Ten different libraries. Let's check them out. All right, guys, so let's start with um, Persian vocals. Uh, we'll start with the vocal libraries. Now, if you guys remember, uh, like the Rost sound stuff is very unique, very niche, but there's really nothing else quite like it on the market. So it's going to be a very, you know, focused on obviously world ethnic music from around the globe. Uh, very authentic. So um, Persian vocals, we have a few different instruments in this one which I just had up and of course it uh, I exit out so you know world colors will come with 10 different libraries ethno cinematic ethno groove ethno escapes uh, Indian flute India vocals midis vocals one and two Persian vocals the whistle and then hang mellow it's like a hang drum I think um, anyway Persian vocals a few different instruments in here right now I just have short selections up and those are like phrases how do they do that how do how do they make those noises you get the idea. You get little phrases here. And there's another bank of those as well. Okay, so moving right along. They have like these really weird um, spacey presets as well, like what I just played. It's like really weird harmonies and stuff. Come back. There we go. So while they do have like some authentic stuff, then you get like these weird spacey. These are just, you know, playable. So you get like this polyphonic um, legato in some of them as well. So you have like the, you know, phrases and then also like playable sustain instruments. One of them was more mellow and then you have like a, you know, kind of over the top legato uh, vibrato. I mean, over the top vibrato and one of those where it's a bit more um, belting, a bit more loud. So we'll go uh, midis vocals, I guess. We'll start with version one. So that's called, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, um, something ethereal. (laughs) 
Some wrong notes there for you to really enjoy. There's that voice without all the, the kind of ethereal uh, reverb and stuff. So has a really quick attack on that. Okay, oh, here we. And I don't, I don't understand why it's the attack not. There we go. So I really love the sound of these ethereal uh, solo vocals in Mideast vocals. This is version one, but they can be very magical. But also you can use them like as pads and stuff. So... Quickly go to MIDI's vocals too. More of that, you know, really ethereal, heavy, a uh, lot of reverb there. But then we also have, um, you know, phrases. Tellidir, yavrum anam tellidir, tellidir amma. So that's what I mean by these libraries being like so authentic. Um, while like there's a, a lot of libraries that do like those legato, you know, playable notes and stuff like that, but it'll never sound as like, you know, this is just really going there to the place and recording someone performing this stuff. I mean, that's as authentic as it gets. And it's very niche, of course, but if you need something like that, uh, you know, there's nowhere else you're going to find it. Uh, unless you go there and record it yourself or, you know, scour through sound effects libraries and stuff like that. So, okay, India vocals. Um, start with... saying little it says short there's she so she is singing a note but you know kind of accented all right so that's india vocals so with all the vocals you get phrases and then like playable legato stuff um okay so let's go on to We'll start at the top, just ethno cinematic. So I'll be honest with you guys, I own these three libraries. You can see over here. So this is this world colors is all this stuff that, you know, is just for this. Oh, and uh, we also did another deal with them, so that's where all the other stuff is from. But I had the ethno cinematic, ethno group, and ethnoscapes. I bought those a while ago. Uh, so I can personally vouch for those. And I love them, so that's why I'll talk about them right now. I actually used two of these libraries in a documentary for a Mongolian uh, travel documentary, uh, like last week. Not even kidding. Um, they fit re really, really well in uh, when you need some kind of ethnic soundscapes. So ethno cinematic, we have different things here.
So this just says Vox, and it's just kind of like a pad. But it's pretty cool. So, you know, there's different instruments here. So they have like the playable instruments, the plucked strings, and the different, um, you know, mallets and bowls, flutes, whatever. And then they also have, just like this, is ambiences. These are really, really cool. This is what I actually used in the documentary. Just There was like a drone shot looking out across the landscape. And it was really, really beautiful and epic. And I just used an ambience like this. And, you know, it just tied it, everything together perfectly. So you get those and then melodic loops. Really cool stuff. That's ethno cinematic. The other one I used in this was ethnoscapes. That one's really trippy. So Ethnoscapes is like kind of like the ambiences from Ethno Cinematic, but you know, more, there's different ones. Uh, not only can you select from the instrument uh, it's list here, there's different ones depending on which key you press. Okay, well, that's just the notes, but full scapes. There's a different uh, soundscape on each different MIDI key, uh, which is pretty cool. And then Ethno Groove. Gosh, there's so much to cover here today. So obviously Ethno Groove is like these kind of patterns and we have different pattern banks over here. And so you can see all those right there. Okay, this is the time machine. So that'll sync uh, to your tempo uh, and everything, which is probably what you'll want to use if you load that up, which is right here, TM. So, so just keep that in mind if you don't know what that is. It's time machine, which is a contact way of, of syncing to tempo and uh, stretching and stuff like that. Oops. Okay, so uh, this one. This is Hang Mellow. <laughs> um, there we go. Hang, Hang Mellow Two, which is a hang drum. So those are patterns, obviously. There's playable keys. My my drum pad isn't properly hooked up right now, or else I would have some fun with that. Anyway. That's a pad with the hang drum, which is really beautiful. We also have different articulations for this. Okay, 
rings out really long. And it doesn't stop. Okay, so if you look down here, C1 is hand, D1 is muted, and E1 is gloves, and it has a different tone. So you get a little bit of variety there. And then patterns, tension builder. So you get some cool kind of experimental sound design stuff with that. Indian flute. So it's velocity sensitive. The harder I press on the key, it has that little accent. That seems to be panned automatically to the left, if you guys notice that. Um, so maybe you want to center that. If if you notice, you're like, hey, it's only coming out on the left. Um, mine was automatically panned. I don't know if I saved it that way on accident. Anyway. So we have patterns as well as the staccato solo legato, long walks on the beach. Okay, then the whistle. What, guess what this is? It's a whistle. It's a whistle, guys. It's a whistle. <laughs> and you get whistling phrases. It's pretty quiet. A very ethnic scale being used for that. Not so much for that. Anyway, so there you have it. Ten freaking libraries, all with a very niche, ethnic, authentic focus. So there's a little bit about each one. Ross Sound is very unique company, uh, and they're very niche. So I understand some people are just being like, I don't need that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I like them a lot, especially when you need something like that, nothing else is going to do it properly uh, unless you go on location and record it like they have or you found like some sound effects libraries. Um, but the instruments and the performances and stuff they capture are really, really cool. So that is the Rust Sound Bundle World Colors. A little bit of everything there. Vocals, playable instruments, phrases, percussion, pad sound design, a little bit of everything. So really cool collection. That's a little bit about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking this one out. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe and stay up to date uh, when we go live and when we have our new videos for you. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.